Hey everyone. So I got some pretty cool bags here to show you today. This is just one of them. Now these are all Sea to Summit brand and I love these things. You really should look into these bags. There's a couple I don't have to show here and I'll talk about those real quick. But Sea to Summit brand makes a lot of different bags and as you can see they're all little packed up things here. So I actually have two of this one and here's the one I've used already. This one's just brand new. And what this is, is their day pack. This is a 20 liter backpack that is made out of 30D fabric. It's water resistant, not waterproof, and it weighs just 72 grams. So this is a pretty cool pack. I'm gonna go ahead and show this one. And I'm gonna show everything, but let me talk about everything first real quick. So this thing's real light. I would take this and clip it to my pants, and then if I'm on vacation or at a fair or even just shopping somewhere, you have a bag that you can take out really quick. The little stuff sack stays attached and just goes inside the backpack. Now this thing is packed up really tight in there, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in one or two things into this pack just kind of to get it filled up. So you can see what it looks like when you got a little bit of stuff in it. As I said, this one's 20 liters. And inside it's just one big pocket. This is the older version. This one I've had since like 2013. So this one's a little newer version. I believe they're the same. They just have a little bit different graphics on them. Uh, the other one has a Sea to Summit logo here, but they don't have any side pockets. It's just a little standard 20 liter backpack, very lightweight, as I said, like 72 grams, I believe it said. Yep. And if you're out and about and you just need a bag to throw stuff in, you have a nice backpack here. And it's super easy to use at any time. You can keep it on your, in your pants, in your cargo pocket, or just hanging. I have a little clip here that I have a flashlight on and I could just clip it right to that. These things go for mid thirties, depending uh, where you buy them. Now they do have uh, another one called the Nano Day Bag. And the Nano Day Bag is pretty cool because it's made out of 15D fabric. It's less than half the weight of the day bag I showed here at 30 grams only. And I know you can barely probably see this through the packaging, but you saw how big this pack was when it's packed. The nano bag is half the size when packed and it's an 18 liter bag instead of 20 liters. So you only lose a couple liters and you still get a nice backpack, but it's only 30 grams and half the size. I have one of those on order and it's coming in the mail. I just don't have it yet. Like I said, I've been using this one for years, um, but then I saw this nano one and I'm like, whoa, that's cool. Even smaller, half the weight, it'll fit in anyone's pocket. Uh, this is better for like a cargo pocket or hanging off your pants or something. Uh, but the Nano one is really cool. Uh, I just don't have it to show today. I might show it in the future. So that's the uh, day pack. Now, I'll pack this up later just to show you how hard it is to pack it, but I'll go through these first. This one I've never opened and I bought this one for a trip that we're going on to the Bahamas soon and we're going to be in Florida. And I'm going to use it the same. This is 22 liters. So they have three different backpack sizes, 18, 20, 22. The difference is the Nano and this one, the day bag, are water resistant, but they're not waterproof. This day pack, which they just call it Ultra Sill Dry Day Pack, it is 99 grams, a little heavier, slightly bigger uh, pack size, uh, but it's siliconized on the inside and it's supposed to be waterproof. Now they say don't put it underwater, you know, uh, but it's supposed to be waterproof. So that way if I'm carrying around something or electronics when we're on vacation, I know that they're gonna be fully waterproof. Now this one I've never opened before. Most of these, uh, I noticed that the bag is attached to the backpack. This one, the bag is not attached. So you just gotta be a little careful, make sure to not lose your pack bag. And this one works a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and 
just stuck this with a big blanket I have here. Just so we can see the size of it. See if we fit another one in. And now this one, how it closes, kind of how their um, stuff sacks close. Seal off the top. And you just take this top and fold it over. You want to fold it about three times. And then you take the clips and you clip them together. And then you have a backpack here. And as you can see, it's a little bigger than the last one was. It has uh, just, just some ties on the outside, some stretch ties and you can tighten them down. So you could put like a sweatshirt or something, hang it in there off the back of your pack, whatever you want to clip to that. But this one is waterproof. It has the same pretty thin nylon fabric for your shoulder straps. A little bit too short. And then you have your backpack. And as I said, with this one, you have a fully waterproof bag, which is nice. Again, just got to remember to take this with. Take this stuff out. Alright, so now we have a couple more bags. So as I said, they have the Nano that I don't have. They also have a duffel bag, which is like 40 some liters. Um, I don't have that. But I do have these two other bags. This is called their sling bag. And this one is basically like kind of like a purse both these next bags are kind of like a purse they call this one the sling bag and this one will zip up on the top I'm just not gonna do that to save time and I have this inside out <laughs> the bag actually goes the other way but we're just looking at the size of it here so this would usually be on the inside but this you have you can put it over your shoulder you have a bag if you want to make it shorter, you can tie a knot in this. And then you can have a shorter bag, however you want to carry it. Water resistant, not waterproof. And this thing is 64 grams. And packs up nice and small. Nice for a little kind of carry anywhere again. So in case you need a little space, you have it. The last one. which this one I haven't used yet. This one is siliconized as well. So unlike all the others, just this one and the dry day pack are siliconized and they make this hard to, hard to take apart. So it should be fairly waterproof. All right, I'm gonna leave the packaging on cause that's too hard to get off right now. So go ahead and take this one out. And this one's called the shopping bag. It's 46 grams, that's better than the other one, which is weird that this one's bigger. The, the, this little uh, sling bag that I just showed is uh, 16 liters and 64 grams. This shopping bag is 25 liters and 46 grams, so more size says it's siliconized so it's more waterproof but it's basically a purse it doesn't have as long as straps but this is great for going to shopping centers like Aldi it's not very waterproof even though even though they said siliconized because I've never opened this one before but there's no zipper closure on the top so this one is more strictly like a shopping bag and it can hold more than the other one but just a nice little bag. Take it to Aldi if you go shopping or wherever if you go shopping. And you have a shopping bag that you can pack up, take with you anywhere. And it's very lightweight, very easy to bring anywhere. 
or a girl can carry it as an extra purse if she needs just a really lightweight purse to bring, like on vacation or something. So pretty neat. I really like all these bags. I've used mainly this uh, backpack for the last many years, and it's been awesome. Haven't had a problem with it, haven't had a rip in it. It's been durable enough for me. And just to show you guys, I don't pack this, this up in any specific way. I just kind of get it and start stuffing. And it, it'll take 30 seconds or so, but you just get it and you use your thumbs and hold the outside. Sometimes it's easier than other times, but it never takes more than 30 seconds to a minute usually. And there we go. Back into the bag, ready for next time. This one, the older style, has a little clip that you can clip to things. Some of the newer ones come with a little carabiner, so they just kind of change the design. The new day pack as well, these are the same thing, just different years that I bought them. The new one comes with a carabiner as well, the old one didn't. So I just wanted to show these because it's pretty neat and like I said definitely look into the Nano as well because the Nano as you can see this is the day pack the Nano is half the size you could fit two Nanos into this one so check out the Nano as well don't have it to show but it, it's pretty neat I'm getting it soon and uh, any questions let me know these things are awesome